All right, welcome to the channel. This is your host Poe. Wow, I just put the headphones on and I did not expect the sound of the song to be all like heavy metal and whatnot. I did start this game and <coughs> went through some dialogue and I thought it was just like a dialogue game till I got the chance to move around with the character and then it get to uh, it, it got to a point where I was in a different dialogue so I, I wasn't that character who I thought I was so it's like about like 20 minutes into the game I think that I've played maybe less we're about to find out right now um, but yeah like I really like Blood Hunt Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt the Battle Royale game of the same universe vampires walk among us unknowing built their cities fought their wars and sated their hunger for centuries, these creatures have been organized into... What did it say? Some civil society. It, it's always Camarilla Accords enforced to masquerade a global conspiracy hiding the existence of vampires from the mortal world. I gotta read faster. Breaking the masquerade is punishable by final death. Did I read a little too fast? Yes, I did. <laughs> anyway, so I played the battle in Boston. Vampire factions have long been at each other's throats. For much conflict, Hazel Iverson, the new prince, has sealed a fragile pact with a group of blood sorcerers known as the Hartford Chantry. Chantry. Chantry? What? Chantry? This alliance will not provide stability to the domain, but will hand the prince the blood trade. Which includes the trafficking of blood and mortal victims that serves the needs of vampire elite. Tonight, Undead will celebrate. Okay. Nakun? Oh, Nakon? What did I think of his two O's? It's like infinity. I'll just get this going. There. Ready. Uh, We're all set. So now. the game... To begin, tell me, what do you see? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. It's kind of goofy, right? We've got a problem. Call them back. Oh, they're so freaking close. Kind of gets right into the story, I guess. What's going on? It's the Prince. We must go quickly. As I was Come saying, on. damn it, hurry up, calm down. 
Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well and I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck! Damn it! It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then BAM! A code Chantry. red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it! This has gotta be bad, M.M. Willpower, so you can use skills and dialogue. Yeah, so it's always good. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure you don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. So I've seen all this myself. But security is like Jara's problem. Yeah, Normally, except Jara is a member of the Prime I'm crazy. not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. <laughs> Why did her hair like just freaking clean house? Did you say this is the first code red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. So, yeah, I guess They've been harping on that for four years it's now. Funny. It took away our internet access. Yo, our what smartphones. Up, it's called risk Bro, mitigation. this is like the game That's story all. mode kind of. Code red of that, is an alarm signal that's uh, sent to on, everyone basically. to say. Watch out. I don't know if you can We're say that, but it is danger. Vampire the Masquerade. And everyone runs yeah, to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with uh, the prince. Swan song. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. You know you're listening. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. It's a lot of dialogue. I've listened to the other one before. Leave everything behind and we go into hiding. As far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. Happy Friday, man. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? Happy what weekend. What do you think? I know how Wait, to behave. Saturday. Jay. What did I yeah, Friday? Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool, and it'll be fine. Let's go ah, fine. My April Bosley. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amen. I wouldn't dilly dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. Some discipline can be used in dialogues, like skills that I used already. Hunger. Ooh. Hmm. I can't you know, anyway. back in the day, That's interesting. nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Imem. My dear Imem. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please. You're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does Ooh, this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Trade Listen, gained. both of you. 
From now on, oh, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. It's gonna be a long night. And then fine as hell. She looks kind of weird. Miss Lewis, though. welcome. I like how her hair whipped. <laughs> Swole. He looks like a boss. Who's she, Caleb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Toreador. That is etched in bold right upon the Toreador. That's what how you say it. That's one of the clans in the swelling is vile. Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, Caleb. he could make the blood in your veins. Boil. This is as much as I've seen. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, oh, shit. there would be I wasn't looking at top left. Is to it see. because of the code red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. What ability but to improve? A code red is a code red. No one can leave. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy See, night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. She's still human. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. Okay. Nothing affects actually my abilities. He is tortured by a demon. We all have one. The beast that preys upon him is a love of money. <laughs> if someone held a stick to his heart and cried your money or your unlife, he'd ask you for some time to think it over. It's his greed then that cost him your favor? Everything about him was disappointment. Jesus. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. Yeah, it's out scary. of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for oh, her. See. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard yelling, from bro? my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up. Leave us. Damn, Helen needs to chill with them testicles in my face. Toriador. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. Ms. McCann. I was worried about you. Ms. McCann, you still haven't can I use the restroom? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. 
people are staring. Damn. Okay. Okay. It's uncertain. Oof. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't you know that aggressive. what this code red is all about. You're in the Prime Engine. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the Hazel ideal time. She a asked prince. to see me. Do you know why? My best guess what? is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey. Of How's course. That sense? I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Counselor Drory is not here, nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Leto's teams are trying to reach them, but... Nobody's answering? No. What a shitty night. <laughs> Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me? happening <clears throat> I really hope there's combat in this game I'm just, I'm just I just kind of know what to expect though Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. <laughs> He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. But now we'll be together forever. We'll be inseparable. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> yes, exactly. 
Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide, because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie. But don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. What? Oh. Aisha. It's been a while. Hey, M.M. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation. Believe me, there aren't many of us who have experienced a Code Red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. <laughs> or maybe if you behaved in a manner Damn, more that's... appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. It's my fault, I guess. Siaka jumped down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please explain. It was as if my boy we were Caleb all going knows what's up, man. Into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. <laughs> Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. That's the boss's knights. Focus on improving attributes and a large selection of skills. Allows for a maximum number of interactions, but with less mastery. Jack of all trades. Should I go free? Character sheet and the discipline sheet.
Discipline powers, interesting. So it's all dialogue, right? No, no combat. It'd be fun if they had combat. Makes me want to play vampire. That's pretty cool. Why can't I do it? Toriador. Oh, I see. I don't know. Yeah, I see. Okay. Sheesh, 45. Okay, I can't get any of these, so. 30. That'll be fun to watch. Can't buy anything, so. Prince Hazel. Hazel. Dulce. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the Code Red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the Warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. 
the Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Camarilla. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, Toriador. I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... Uh, what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't so. let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it. But we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can go. Okay, bitch. Me. What the hell is going on? She heard that? Oh, she got some booty. Prince with the booty. M.M., -M. I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, hey Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. Save some. Okay. No news from anyone. Do you think that? Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the only ones freaking out. Look around. Exactly. We've got to keep our wits about us. Got it? Yeah. D do you want us to... Oh. Do you need me? Oh. Um. Hi. Do you want us to... Oh. Do you need me? Oh. Um. I thought I was going to feed... Hi. Oh, I get it. Oh, I wasn't hitting F, though. Sorry, I I'm a little out of it. Come run. Follow me. Yes, ma'am. No, you come with me. Go ahead. The vessels are over there. Take whichever one you want. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go behind them. I'll stay here.
We can't wait around like this forever. Stop running. Come on. It won't take long. Yes. A safe zone. Even know what the hell to press. Resonance that your character will learn. Well, only the last one required is saved. Good to know. I don't know how to stop though. It was like. F to buy it or something. Let's kill another one. I told you to be careful. Sorry, I got carried away. It's all right. As long as it stays between us. But watch out. This kind of slip-up could cost us big out there. I know, I know. Absolutely divine. Come with me. There. Going. Going. I bet I, I know kill that this voice. Mind your own business, Sil. Now's not the time to make away. Shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh. Good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that <coughs> alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... you might 
want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back anytime you want. Yes? I guess Ms. Yeah, Iverson has the top floor all to herself. <laughs> I bet I'm gonna get Yes, some. that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. Uh, I feel like these questions I shouldn't be asking, like it's suspicious to ask. Yes? I know that perfume. Jay. That's Jay's scarf. I... Shit. You... You want to... Victoria! M.M. My little Rose. It's been so long. An eternity, you mean. And yet, look at you. As splendid as always. I've learned from the best. Adorable. How are you? Uh, this is a rather depressing night for a reunion. What about you? You chose a bad time to visit us. Oh, don't remind me. To think I was so happy to return to Boston after so many years. Ugh, the trip was to be amazing. Hey, the night's still young. It might be nothing at all. You're right. Everyone is so tense, it's starting to rub off on me. I hear business is going well for you. Your Black Rattlers are making quite the splash. You can be proud of everything you've accomplished, darling. Your name is on everyone's lips. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. I'm really happy to see you again. I wish I had more time to talk. Is there something stopping you? You could say that. One of my acquaintances is in hot water with Miss Iverson. I need to help her. I'm going to give you a piece of advice then. Don't waste your energy helping others. Let others handle their own problems. Their mistakes aren't your business. Journey is someone I can trust. I can't let her down now. Is Journey a prince? No. Then her opinion doesn't matter. The only individuals who should matter to you are royalty. The rest, they're just for decoration. Thanks for the advice, Victoria. You've helped put things into perspective. It's only natural. I'll always be here for you, darling. And I hope the feeling is mutual. You know it is. Wonderful. I'm relieved to see that despite the travails of time and distance, our friendship is still intact. What are you doing in town anyways? The last time I heard about Victoria Ash, she'd just gotten back to Atlanta. You know I never stay in one place for long. But to answer your question, I came to do business. For the agreement, I'm guessing. You guessed right. I'd hope to meet up with one of my associates tonight. A warlock I'd sent to Hartford. Unfortunately, he still hasn't made his appearance. He might still come. The night's not over yet. Oh, you're refreshingly naive. We'll see. Whoa.
Interesting. Oh, come on, bitch. Ah. Oh. What did you hope your emissary would do? Huh. Double cross Iverson? Oh, please, MM. I'm just curious, that's all. Diplomats are rarely sent out without good reason. If you sent someone, then there was something in it for you. I'm simply maintaining my relations with the outside. Atlanta has been through dark times. Damn, it will need a strong network points. of allies if it hopes to return to its former power. I thought, I, so, uh, I actually thought about it. I'm like, basically. Exactly. I figured there would be a possibility if I... I'm sorry, but I've got to go. I understand. Duty calls, but before you leave, I have a favor to ask you. I mentioned my emissary earlier. If you hear anything about him, please let me know when you get back, would you? I thought I was only supposed to focus on my prince. Have you had a change of heart? Huh. You're using my own words against me? It's a big favor. I'm aware of that, but I'm a loyal friend, and powerful too. If you can do this for me, I'll owe you one. Fine. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Oh, thanks, M.M. I hope I'll see you again soon, darling. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Thanks, Victoria. See you later. Are you going back to Tehran soon? Of course. There's something romantic about its paradoxes. And I'm a sensitive woman. Yes. I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. So, what the heck? Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. It's been a while. Can I help you? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Do you still work for April? Well, aren't you rude? My loyalty is with the court. <laughs> Seems like Bosley's leading you around by the nose, though. She's got some extra responsibilities, sure, but that's it. I have my own agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I've got stuff to do. See you later. Did I, like, piss her off or something, or she always looked like that? Yes, darling? I imagine you received the alert as well. Yes. I was with your prince when the message was sent. Do you have any idea who triggered it? Alas, I have no idea. Iverson didn't care to share that with me. She knows how to control information. 
I'm not even sure she knows herself. She's going to need answers. I doubt her subjects will wait much longer. I've heard rumors about you. Something about a wedding? Oh yes! My wedding to Tigurius! It was fabulous. We had a spectacular celebration. That's cool. I think congratulations are in order. Oh, do you? It's a political marriage. Nothing more. Our family needed it. You did it for the cam? You seem surprised to hear it. You may not have noticed, but the Camarilla has lost some of its luster since the Anseli left. Our survival depends on our ability to make compromises. You knew Boston when it was a Malkavian city. What do you think about the court now? Iverson has successfully made her mark. It can't have been easy, with Quinton's grip on the city. Boston was on the brink of chaos when Hazel took over. I don't always agree with her methods, but she gets the job done. She knows what she wants. I respect that. Our family needs more leaders like her. That would be a welcome change from our usual weather veins. Mm, I've gotta go. See you later, darling. Can I help you? I've got stuff to do. See you later. Oh, she's not pissed now, so I did piss her off earlier. <laughs> Let me know if I can help. You go, Jay. Now oh, they let me go. Underwood and Fang. Nazori's ears must be burning. MM, we haven't seen you here in ages. Did you want uh -huh. something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey. Have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. If you know something, just tell me. I'm teasing you. I haven't the slightest idea what has you in such sorts. It was just a joke. Very funny. I don't have time for this. I'm out of here. Damn. I don't know how to do the conversation successfully yet, but I Good don't... evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. Mm -hmm. Ke 
Eltum and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. This can't be happening. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Nomi. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. <sighs> but why would she need that? Everything why now? Like. I wonder. Calm down. message to Abigail. The file. I wonder where they put it. That could be of interest to me. These people from the Dev team, I think. I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay. elevator to get here. I... I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani... She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys... How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high-quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. 
If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. They can't hurt me. It's locked. That sucks. The waste of my points. I think that's what happened. Everything's gonna be fine. Someone spots me. Battery's dead. I've got to hurry. I'm not supposed to be here. Boston, Boston, Boston. Lazarus knows all of the city secrets. Oh, you again. What do you want? April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst, destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. You can tell me my lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> what attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier.
Hazel's gonna want answers. Did everything downstairs. The door is locked. Oh, great, my shadow. Big mama. Mm. So, what exactly did Hazel want with you? I'm sorry, but this is between Hazel and me. I can't believe it. Don't you see what she's doing? Yeah, she's asking for a little discretion, so what? We haven't heard from anyone at the party all night. Many of our own didn't make it home. And she's still reigning through division. She's doling out information strategically. It's the worst possible thing to do in a crisis. And we needn't even mention how she treats the Primogen. She straight out refuses to see us. She's isolating herself. It's a bad sign. Hazel's gone completely paranoid. Oh, she dude. asked me a ton of questions. You understand why I'm worried? I don't need this right now. Oh, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. Be careful. <laughs> Damn, look at that hair, man. Yes. Say Hilda. You wanna go back there and uh, you know. Nope. Can't go through there. It's locked. Yes? Get up the other stairs from down here. Running in heels. Give this girl the workout of her life. Okay, let's do this. Oh, dang. I didn't find one thing. Way shit. 
So this what? is where you've been. Oh, hiding. Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So, you're hiding in Jorori's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against her. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you? It's gonna be fine, Jay. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. I'll follow you. Right? I don't think... Just like M.M. she doesn't have enough points to do anything. Laisha, it's good to see you. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubled. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No. I'm the prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist, but you don't need his permission for everything. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha, I know I can be frank with you. For four years, I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. The Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed, the most accurate. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we more signed our clearly. agreement. More clearly. But this alert changes everything. I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything, possibly about what happened tonight? Uh, I saw images, but they had nothing to do with this party. It didn't make any sense. It was a long, white hallway. It's a little early for sure, but it's a good start. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't be of more help. Don't be sorry. There's... Something else you can do for me. Your discretion can still be of use to me. I need to be sure that none of the members of my council are going to take advantage of the situation. You and Delson are the only two people I trust entirely. 
The members of the council have their council lodgings here. It gives them the impression that they have power, and it means I can keep an eye on them. I'm going to give you the key. Go and see if you find anything that could make me doubt their loyalty. Anything that might make me think there's something in the works. Uh, all right. Miss Drury burned the midnight oil to make sure this event was secret. I imagine there might be some evidence in the information she gathered. I need it. All right, consider it done. You've never disappointed me, Laisha. Please don't start today. Until then, I hope to have found more information. But above all, don't share what we've discussed with anyone. I don't need more gossip. Can I take Halsey with me? Of course. All right then. I'll be right back. Uh huh. Kids Mom, I'm going to Ritzwitz to see if he has my teddy. Okay. Come and find me when you're done. Let's see if Hazel was right. Did Jara leave anything behind? from the other side. Mr. Arnold slammed his door. That's a bad sign.
But this thing's old. Does she still use it? the heck okay, does that mean I can use the key? Nobody here. I'm going to be able to take a look around Dijon's. The Salem Gazette. Just like New Orleans, this is definitely Dijon's place. We here. He didn't finish his letter, but that'll be enough for Hazel to make up her mind about him. A bird, dead. cards. How fun. The Emperor, the Chariot, Temperance. Easy. Dijon is thinking about taking a trip. To get that first, I thought it was like an energy or something.
Weasel told me to keep a low profile here. This area is reserved for the prince and her primogen. Shit. Hilda's in her office. She's going to see me. That being seen, this city does not possibly physically interact with the environment. You may, however, stealthily read a document or examine an object. Too close. She might be able to sense me. Just fine on your own. If you only knew everything I've done for you. Ma'am. Elda's more concerned with her mom than she is with Hazel. I hope she'll be happy to hear that. Richard's apartment. <laughs> he didn't change a thing, as usual. that he always saves everything on old media. Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested in it. What is he talking about? So, did you find your teddy? No, not yet. I'm not sure he's here. What about you? Did you finish your job for the prince? No. I haven't learned anything about this party yet. You wait for me here while I look around a little more, okay? Okay, Mom. Restricted access means nothing to you, I see. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. Damn. 
these suits. Barrels as dead outside as he is inside. The speculative news from... Oh, he's about as fun as his reading material. No fucks given, bro. I, I revealed myself first, then I was like... You know, I'm gonna go invisible right in front of you, just cause... How am I not surprised? What doesn't surprise you? For you to turn up at a time like this. The prince had me released. Of course, she needs you. <laughs> I'm guessing she sent you to spy on the council. What do you mean? Tell me, do you remember the last time she pulled you out of your musty hole? It's just that I... You don't remember, do you? You're still having those little memory issues, it seems. And I suppose Halsey's here, too. Of course she is. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Don't start with me, Beryl. Otherwise... Why don't you go out and play in the sun? Me get back to work. Work? With everything that's going on. Hazel will appreciate your dedication. Get out! Please! <sighs> that's all I'm going to be able to find out about him. Hazel's gonna be disappointed. Halsey's waiting for me. I hope Hazel will be proud of us. This is pretty cool. Like, I like Not how the yet, abilities sweetie. work. And as soon as I find something, uh, we'll go. I like how. Oh, like the animations on the on the faces and stuff. Uh, I kind of mean that. Like, I like the design. I like how everything looks. I just don't like the animation. Are you almost done? Not yet, sweetie. As soon as I find something, we'll go. Mr. Teddy! Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested in it. Talk to the daughter now. Are you almost done? Not yet, sweetie. As soon as I find something, we'll go. I thought I just did with the floppy disk. So I was here the whole time. Oh, this thing's old. 
Does she still use it? So how do I read the stuff that I've picked up? Oh, Hazel asked me to bring her. Yep. Yes, I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. 
Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Let's go, sugar things. Laisha. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests, including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Denem Osborne? Yes, he seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? I had a vision. I knew you would. What did you see? Was I in your vision? I think it was me. My forehead was on fire. The... I... All right. Do you have any idea what it could mean? Not in the slightest. Are you disappointed? The important thing is that you're starting to have visions again. I also found that at Jara's, a file on the party. It's a record of everything Journey did. That could be useful. Give it to Delson on your way out. Anything else? At Dijon's, I found a letter addressed to the Salem Chantry. Did he betray me for the Warlocks? I don't know. It just said that he's participating in your project, but that he would have preferred an agreement with Salem. Oh, I understand his recent illusions a little better now. I'm going to need to have a word with him. Go on. Hilda was in her room. She was acting strangely. What do you mean? She was whispering things. Talking to a picture of a mem. Touching, but that's of no importance. That's all I was able to find. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Laisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon, as that's where he does his research. I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. I'm sorry, Laisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. We'll leave right away. These I would not have kids and everything. Thank you, Aisha. I'm excited to learn more about the lore of this universe. Hmm. I didn't really, uh... M.M., come here. Thanks, M.M. You've brought me Journey. I knew I could count on you. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right, I'll be waiting in the next room.
<laughs> yeah, if I can kill the vessel. That's the only mistake I made. I think it's F to press. Ooh, now I get to pick this guy. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Galen. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Ancelai heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius, with Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb. Damn, what's going on between those two? Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit! I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake! My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject fawning. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels he's entitled to refuse to see a member of the Primogen. I won't forget it. Sorry to hear it. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng. A name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah, you're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazori's progeny, aren't you? I hope that the Prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Our dear Hazel is so unpredictable. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well. If you'll excuse me, I must end this ever-so-pleasant conversation. <laughs> I need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. Uh, 
If only Miss Drury were here. This is a handwritten list. These names sound familiar. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. Fuck. How long has it been since we've had an alert like this? I've got no idea. Blood tests from the Red Salon. Not a minute to waste. Caius's office. The key card must be in there. We're stepping up security on every floor. Hmm. The code has to be somewhere around here. As expected, nobody's answering there either. Blood tests from the Red Salon. I don't like the sound. She always said she preferred paper to digital. She always said she preferred paper to digital. Were you able to reach your contact? No, still nothing. I don't like this. I've got more important things to do. These servers hold all of our secrets. I understand why they're so well protected. A list of ingredients and side effects. If you want to talk, go see Mr. Leto. Can it wait?
security has been increased to the maximum. I've never seen anything like it. Can I help you with something? I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. The prince needs more than that. I hope you've got it. You want details. Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer, one of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. And you're the one who received the Code Red? Personally. It arrived directly here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she was here. Any sign of Jara? Nothing at all. And that's not good. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be ill-fated. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. There's one thing we haven't considered. The Crimson Oaks. They were behind the Quincy Market attack, weren't they? I don't have any proof. We just caught a thin blood who wanted to trap the Prince. And who told us about them. Apparently they're new in town, but Miss Drury thinks he's giving us the runaround. Did you look into it? I tried, but I didn't have the resources to discover anything else. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Hello? Damn it! I lost them. Who was it? Woo. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough time to get more out. 
They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Call think- Call her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough. You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was set by Wu. Go to Moors and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring more back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then, I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No. You will remain here. Emem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions.
Ooh, I got points. Uh, fuck. Almost with MM, right? Okay. for what you've done. What am I doing here? I have to get out of here. Ugh, it's stuck.
is happening. The library. I've been here before. Okay, so either they're all dead or they forgot about the welcoming committee. Interesting game, but I'm gonna look it up right now. We we'll use the restroom, and I'm gonna look it up if there's any combat. I don't think there's any combat in the game. Shit. Okay. Oh. Um. And then let's just play some Blood Hunt on top of it, keep it in the theme. Keep it within the theme. Um. I'm gonna continue the story um, another day. Bow, we are back. <laughs> pretty interesting, but I think it's only like dialogue and lore and stuff like that, which is pretty uh, pretty cool. I like this stuff too. Vampire would be a good mix. It's like a good mix then, because it has a lot of dialogue, but it has you could say souls like combat system and how like this the enemy spawn back in the area and whatnot.
welcome back. Well, I actually stop this train, eat properly, and then play something else. Yeah, because there's nobody's watching right now either. I think you will enjoy this. How do you do? Oh, we opened up the door. Omnis has time. I go eat and probably start another stream of uh, I don't know. We all stream like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, maybe uh, Elder Ring. I don't know. We'll see. Quick break.